it was just it, it just got to some really really messy shit when when all when everybody knew who everybody was okay when it got in between when episodes when the episodes start getting too deep and the ep- and the episodes and the season start getting real good it just got better and better between the Fallon and Eve and then Clint. When Clint came into place, that's when everything else just flow out nicely. Then this is when we met Winston. Oh, I just, I just love this show so much. I just love this storyline. Oh my god. Oh my god. It even got to the point where I even started knowing all the lines. Especially Fallon's lines. Because she would always come through with the come through on this show. Everybody just you everybody I just I just love the hard work and dedication that they put with this. Okay. Uh then um then this is when we get into a little bit more about Rob. Okay, so Derek, who you all know was Jabril's you know, significant other for a whole year. So every ever since after all they had, had found out about that, then this is when Robert, who is who was Brandon's best friend until Brandon found out that uh, he was dealing with Derek and blah 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 blah, and it, it, it's crazy, y'all. It's just it's just so many octagons on this show. Between all the characters, like, everybody has a, a secret, you know, all the secrets finally get put to the table. So, Robert, who is not the best person who to, to give information to, he was always kind of the, mani- he was kind of the, mani- the manipulator at the beginning of the season. But then when they got to the middle of the season, he earned, he earned trust with, with his significant new BF, Derek. And then it got to the point where it just got... The trust, the trust issue started coming more and more and more when Derek found that that uh, Robert started working with Fallon. So you know everything led up to what it led up to. When you guys see it, you 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 will be so amazed by all of the hard work and dedication that they put to show. It's got so many funny moments, especially from Christina Porter, Kiko Williams, uh, Kennedy Lee. And Jason Bowman. All these people were just so hilarious on this show. It had so many funny moments. I, I can't even name. I can't even name them. But I love it. I love these people so much. They just do not know. They're going to have to have a meet and greet in Chicago. Because I'm, I am I have so many words. I have so many words for all of them. They need to continue. They need to put. They need to further this on Logo TV. They need to have. You know, they need to put this on Netflix. They need to have something. They need to have something. Because I, I just love this show so much. They need to have it on DVD. I'm buying it. Okay? Because, uh, 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 but anyway, let, let, let me get back to more of the, the storyline, some more of the juicy stuff. So then, uh, 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 this is where we get more into Kiko. Kiko came, just recently came into the town. And she was hired by her aunt. Who is Rhonda Richardson? So Kiko Richardson is 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 the, the the most fab one on the show. She comes with the 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 spice and the sassy attitude and the funny. She is the most funniest one on this show. I can't even name like so many. She makes me laugh so much, and she is just hilarious. And she just had so much. She just brought so much life to this show that. You you would just fall in love with her, okay? Even even with this little funeral scene at the on the last episode, y'all, I can't even deal with this, okay? It just got to the point. It even got to the point where Kiko and Ashton had, had end up being friends, and they get kidnapped. Y'all, it's just so much I can explain. I'm not explaining it in the order that I should be, but I just know all the stuff that had happened watching it. Oh my God, that when they, when Kiko and Ashton got kidnapped by Victor, it, it oh my God, that was just the best one. That it was so it was like Nightmare on Elm Street, y'all. I just can't. Whew, I got so much words. I got so much words. Y'all gonna have to forgive me. I'm a little all over the place with the storyline, but. It's, it started off from a love triangle, and then it just went left with business triangles. And then, uh, let me get a little, let me step in a little bit to more about who Eve Newman is. Eve Newman is Fallon's best friend, but they share each other's secrets, and they 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 they're supposed to be this this clique. They're supposed to have each other's back because they known each other since they was kids. But man, you find out so much. Uh, you find out a little bit about Fallon's background history, and Eve is the one who supposedly knows all knows it all. 
But then, this is one, this is one triangle. Not only does Eve finally find herself in a situation of having her own company, you ain't gonna never guess who she slept with. <laughs> Fallon's husband. So Fallon's husband, who is Clint Saunders, also played by Terrell Ross, is the is the most is the big spender. He is the most manipulative one on the show. He got everybody beat. He done slept with a man. He done slept with a woman. Like he's all over the place. So Clint is the most confused one on the show. He doesn't know wh whether he likes men or whether he likes women. So that's his problem on the show. Okay. Uh, 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 Fallon is over it. So this is where Winston comes into place. Winston is the fixer. So he is the one who's fixing all of Fallon's problems. They've been friends since they were younger. Uh, uh, uh I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about how Jabril fits into place. Jabril is Fallon's brother. So they are brother and sister. So he's an heir to the Fallon, to, to, to Davenport Industries. And he has a trust fund that he's coming up. And, and also, shout out to Kiko. He's a trust fund hoe. So the trust fund hoe, <laughs> the trust fund hoe is, in, is, is trying to get his money back from Fallon. And, 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 and when Fallon finally found out that Jabril is in the same state, you know, in the same town, you know, they start having fights, but then they little they come to the letter and they start working together to help Victor to help Victor get off their little situation. And it y'all, it's just so much I can just I, I I'm all over the place. I know I'm all over the place, but guys, I love this show so much. When you find out a little bit more about it, you will fall in love with this show. Okay, I just love the hard work and dedication that these people put into this uh work. It is so phenomenal. And I, I'm going to need to see a movie. I I'm gonna, I am can't wait for season two. I don't know when it's coming. It better come a little sooner than later. You know, I would, I would love for it to start back maybe this year. But, oh, it just gets to so many shady stuff. When, 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 when with Fallon and these people who... Fallon is into it with everybody. So, Clint... Is in big trouble because when Fallon found out, when when Fallon busted Clint for 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 being the liar and the cheater that he was, okay, Clint it, it, it w w was saying, no, you, I'm not gonna be out this marriage. I'm gonna stay. I'm, we gonna try to fix this. We gonna try to work this out. You know, Clint ain't ain't, ain't taking no for an answer. Everything that Fallon has tried to manipulate Clint on, Clint tries his hardest to stay in Fallon's life and to to stay at the company because. Her father, who's the head of the company, is the one who is holding everything up as far as 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 the industries and and Davenport Industries. So it just gets crazy. She starts getting real crafty with Clint. Okay, she starts having with Winston and oh, is a sex tape is involved. I can't. I just can't. I can't. I can't deal. I can't deal with the slaves. I can't deal with the slaves. I can't deal with this stage. It even gets to the point where you, where 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 Rhonda Richardson is uh, immediately dead, but 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 she's alive, y'all. I, I I can't deal. 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 Y'all are gonna have to really get into this show because there's so many triangles. It leave your mind like wow. Okay, it's just so much going on on this show. I just can't. My train of thoughts. I, 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 I'm, I'm cramming it all in, but guys, forgive me, you guys are going to love this show, okay, if you haven't seen it already, please check it out, uh, B, B, R, B, T, R, T, V, y'all, I, I gotta get it together, I gotta get it together, I gotta get it together, the YouTube, I'm gonna put all the links in the description for you to follow it, but guys, I really hope that Cass sees this show, I mean, this review, because I'm so, I'm so happy, I've been the main one, me and the K2 Spy have been on on and off with this show like we have been just loving it this is one of my favorites i watch it almost every day <laughs> forgive me the last couple of episodes you know oh my god especially confrontation when she when fallon got in clint's ass about this whole situation she was like you're good you know that you're really oh i just came when she busted him out about ashton oh my god i just love it i love it i love it oh my god fallon Christine Porter, girl, you, I, I just, if I meet you, I'm going to give you a big hug and a kiss because you've done so much for the show. I, 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 you, the show is nothing without you. The show is nothing without none of the characters. They all put in so much work. Caesar, Will, and 
Oh my God, Carlos Harris. Y'all are just, you don't know how amazing you guys are as far as writing and directing. The direction that you guys want with this is phenomenal. I cannot wait to see what season two has to offer. Okay, I know I'm all over the place with this review, but I'm just I'm just expressing all of the, my best moments and a little bit about the storyline. Oh my God, when you find out about Ashton and how he wants to seek revenge after Fallon and Clint, and when it gets to the last episodes, you are going to just be like, wow, because when when when, when after when Ashton and Kiko got got kidnapped, it just put so much on them too, because you know they they ended up being the ones that, that has been going through the most. On the show, it got to the point where Brandon had to forgive Jabril, and Jabril started being back in, in Brandon's life. Once Jabril found out who, I mean, once Brandon found out who Jabril was, I'm sorry, once Brandon found out who Jabril was, okay, uh, uh, it, it just had to lead up to him forgiving Jabril. Okay, then the stuff with Mason and his little significant love triangle with Jesus or Jesus or whoever, okay, it, it, I guess we're going to find out a little bit more about that on season two, but. Mason had to been had to clean up everybody's mess between Rhonda, everybody, and then uh uh when it when it comes to Robert, okay, he is in everybody's business, uh you know at the corner because he started working with Fallon and Derek did not trust her, so it, a little situation got with that with the last episode. I don't want to I don't want to spill all of it. Just got you guys are just gonna have to watch it, but it just got the storyline just got so interesting where it it, it just got too. I just can't explain it, y'all. I just love it. I just love it. Then Clint and all the other people who was ahead of the show. They, Clint and Winston and Eve came later in the show. But Eve was the one who was trying to make it seem like she had it all good. And she ended up being the main one. When Fallon threw that drink in her face. Oh my God. That's one of my favorite. Ooh, the last my supper. Best, was best moments of the finale. Oh my God, the funeral scenes. Oh my God, Kiko was just hilarious. Oh, oh God, the uh, the part when uh, Winston and Fallon nailed Clint ass down to the wall when they got him out of Davenport Industries. Oh my God, when they planted that the sex tape that they originally had planned. Uh, 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 man, oh my god, when and when it, through the business meeting that Clint was giving, Fallon came and interrupted. She tried to make it look like she was in on with, with, with Clint with the ideas and stuff like that. But when they was getting, when Clint was getting ready to show the project and the videos that he had for Denver Industries, she switched the tape and put the tape that she had with Winston making, making a pass at him. And having his way with him while he was drugged. Y'all, oh my God. It was just, that was just hilarious. And then Fallon tried to act like she didn't have know nothing about it. Oh my God, that was just funny. That was just funny. It's just been so many funny moments. Uh, 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 the, one of the other best moments when, when, uh, I loved on this episode, the finale, was when my boy Mason stood up the victor. And I was about to whoop his ass inside the salon. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I was also glad to see Rhonda was still alive because, you know, she, she wanted to be killed off for a minute. I actually thought that she died for a minute. But man, I loved it. That, it was just, oh my God. It was just amazing. Uh, one of the shockers is when I found that the, 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 the salon is in Brandon's name. You know, you guys, you, you guys got to really get into it. But that, those were some of my best moments of the finale. I love that. I just, I just can't. But oh my God, I miss this show so much. <laughs>